Okay, hey y'all, hey. What's up my beautiful, 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 beautiful people. How y'all doing today on this marvelous, 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 marvelous day? You gotta, you gotta stay positive. You gotta stay positive during this quarantine, okay? You're not gonna make it far, you're not gonna last. You're not going to get through these days. If you don't keep it positive, if you don't keep it optimistic, if you don't keep it fun and energized and just, you know, thinking great things. So today's video is just a little bit different, right? It's gonna be short, it's gonna be cute, it's gonna be sweet. I just wanna let you guys know what we are doing today on this Sunday. Three days ago, I launched my oils and I had no idea that my oils would do as well as they did like I knew they were good I knew they would do well but I didn't know it, it went beyond what I expected it was almost overwhelming all the love and support that I was getting all the orders I was getting literally in less than 24 hours I sold out and looking at the end result of how much has came in I was like you know what I am blessed I am so grateful and I am so appreciative and because I am blessed and because I am so grateful I know there's tons of people right now that's complaining about being in the house complaining that their kids are home complaining that they can't go outside complaining that they can't go to the club and drink and complaining that they can't go out and get their nails and their hair and you know all these luxury things that we almost took for granted um, but a lot of people are complaining about just everything that's going right now and it's very much understandable but um, I think sometimes we miss the point of just everything sometimes it's a bigger picture than what you feel like you are seeing yes we are going through a pandemic yes, we are quarantined we should be staying home keeping it safe while I'm listening to everybody complain as they're sitting in a warm home as they're able to go to their kitchen and grab some food and some water as they're able to go use the bathroom whenever they want, while they're able to be with their family and their kids and their lovers and their husbands and their wives and their pets during this time playing games and doing TikTok, okay? We're complaining about being inside and not being able to go outside, but just think about the people that's outside that's not able to come inside. I don't know how it feels weather-wise where you are, but in Chicago, it's cold, it's gloomy, and it's rainy, and all I I could think about is me being in my warm home covered sheltered drinking my Hennessy and just and having a good time I'm also thinking about people that don't have that luxury there's homeless people outside that if they have to use the bathroom you think anybody's letting them in their establishment right now probably not they weren't they didn't want to do it before and you think they about to do it now no so you know while we complaining about the things that we're complaining about we're not seeing the bigger pictures of all the things that we should be blessed about during this time what I decided to do was um, pass out food for the homeless. I took some proceeds from the orders that came in from my shop for my oils and I took a good chunk of that money and I'm putting it towards like a homeless um, fund where we're gonna go out and hopefully we can do it every Sunday maybe as long as I got the finances to do it um, cause you know I still have my own family to think about and worry about I'm a bartender I'm not working right now either so this is really just coming from um, just pure the heart so anybody that's purchased anything from my shop this last week this is all you're doing you did this you helped me feed the homeless we're about to go out we're about to go get stuff to make sandwiches you know something you don't have to warm up but like we're about to go out and get sandwiches and chips and mini waters and just pass them out i am still practicing social distancing i literally haven't came in contact with anybody in two and a half weeks okay and the first person i did come in contact with was my mother and i miss my mom like i want to see my mom so she came here yesterday and she was only here for literally 10 minutes and guess what she left all of her belongings at the door okay outside the door in a garbage bag because we plays no game but again this is heavy in my heart and I just want to give them a little something just to show that somebody do care and that someone is thinking about them because I am I'm still going to be practicing social distancing and trying to keep it safe and precautious. I'm not going to get out the car. I'm not going to have no long, crazy talks with anybody. Probably no talks at all. Literally, I want to drive past, hand you a sandwich, chips, and water, and give you a be safe and keep it moving. I will not be showing any of the 
homeless people. Amber's gonna be driving, I'm gonna be passing them out. I really don't have time to be holding the camera while I pass them out, that's just a little bit too much for me. I just respect people's privacy and they deserve respect just as well because it's not about that. It's not putting their struggle on display. It's just more of me giving a little bit as I can right now. I don't know what the future holds for me job-wise. <laughs> right now I'm just trying to stay positive but while I have a little bit of a little bit cash um, I decided to give so um, again thank you so much if you have supported my shop purchased from my shop these last this last week because you added to this fun as well so you know pat yourself on the back because you, you did a little sum you get you gave to the cause without even knowing so I love you guys oh so much so let's get into making these sandwiches So all together we made 15 plus sandwiches and we were not stingy. Some have turkey, some have roast beef, some have both. We got lettuce, we got cheese, we got pepper, we got salt, we got mayo, we got mustard, we got oil, and we got vinegar, okay? We wasn't gonna get them no dry sandwiches so I'm so happy to be able to, you know, make a difference today with these sandwiches. So the cool part about being in Chicago, especially with the social distancing, is we have certain areas where all the homeless people be like together. And let me just say, through they struggle, they be having a good ass time. So they were so freaking cool. And instead of us having to go past it to everybody, one of the dudes just came out and just took the whole box and he did it for us. So we didn't have to interact with anybody for real. So that was pretty dope. So literally this took all of maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> And if you pass into that guy who had just walked past, like he was right behind us and he was bringing them propane tanks and water. So don't get it twisted. They get looked out for over here. They was playing spades, okay, playing board games and all. I was low-key kind of jealous. <laughs> like, can I have some fun? Bree wanna have some fun? Yes, they got their bags. They happy about it. Tons of bags. 
and Amber giving him some money. <laughs> yes, give the elbow, the elbow. Oh, I'm so happy. So, you guys, we had so much fun passing out the food to the homeless. They were so cool. And they took our our givings with open arms. And it was just so dope. And I want to do that more, you know what I'm saying? As long as I can, I want to do it more. And next time, like as soon as I'm able to make hand sanitizers, I want to give like little toiletry bags um, with hand sanitizer and like just different like cute stuff inside of it. But they was over there low key spoiled. They had like boxes of food, boxes of water, propane tanks. I was like, you could tell people go over there all the time and look out for them. Yeah, that's what we did today. So thank you again for everybody who purchased from my shop. Y'all did that. Y'all did that. Anyway, I love you guys all so much. This is quarantine day. I don't know. I don't even know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. I don't know what I don't know nothing, girl. All the days and time and night and day is all just running together. Like I don't even know what day we're on. But just know that we did some good today. Okay. Anyway, I love you guys all so much. Y'all the bomb.com and I will see y'all when I see y'all. When I see y'all. Till next time. Bye.